Holy poop! Hey Baybots, I'm back and today I have something very weird to show you and it's not necessarily weird in the sense that it's a weird item, it's just weird in its packaging. And I know you don't know what I'm talking about so I'm going to quickly struggle to show it to you but then I'm going to put it down because it is crazy heavy and also very sharp because it's held together with staples and it is popping open so let's just get that out of the way. And here it is. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, it's massive. Okay, I'm just going to put that down now. Hold on. Oh, I did it. Okay. So today I'm gonna be checking out a giant surprise egg that was sent to me for free by Zuru. I do like the Zuru products. They always come with interesting packaging. Sometimes they get big boxes, small boxes, purple boxes, pink boxes, boxes of all sorts. But this is the first time I've ever received an egg. And these are typically given out to like the toy opening families and children YouTubers who are like four to eight years old. So I don't know if I should be flattered because I got the giant egg or if I should be offended that they think I I am four to eight years old in uh, personality. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's all in good fun. I didn't actually expect this, and to be honest, I have talked to Zuru a few times over the summer and in early September, and they offered me a bunch of different products at various times, which included new varieties of rainbow corns. So I don't know what I'm getting in there, and I also don't know what the price is gonna be because there were so many different rainbow corn things that were coming out this summer. So basically, whatever I open in there today, we're gonna focus on what we're getting, what the function is supposed to do, and the quality. And if you like anything that you see, then just shop around at wherever you buy toys, whether it's Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, depending on where you live, there's different stores, and always just search for the best deals and make conscious decisions on what you wanna spend your money on. But hopefully, once I open this up and we check out what it's like, whatever it is, you'll have a better idea of whether or not you want it. <laughs> okay? Let's uh, open this egg. But the question is how? I really don't know how, it's huge. So, ugh. It is huge. It says Zuru Rainbow Corns start your epic egg hunt. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And it's a large pink egg, but it is popping open at the bottom because it's heavy. I'm just gonna be very careful because there are staples in it. My plan is to not hurt myself. So how can we best perform this unpainful action? Let's, ooh. Hey, I got it on the table. Yes. I'm just gonna pop open some of these staples. I'm like afraid they're gonna go shooting everywhere like bullets. <laughs> Holy poop! Oh man, I gotta somehow show this to you. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Let me just show you what's inside. Oh, okay. Since I don't want this to be 10 hours long, we'll just check out one of each of whatever duplicates might be in there. All right, the first thing is a purple zebra striped egg and it says Rainbow Corn's Wild Heart Surprise and it has a gold to teal pearlescent horn. It says there are new long-tailed boobacorns to find, seven totally wild styles to collect and 10 wild layers of surprise. Ooh, the most roaresome rainbow corns ever. Find the rare sparkle sloth. Okay, so that's kind of cute. I am a little biased because I have enjoyed rainbow corns in the past. It is no secret, but this is kind of exciting because there are different animals here. Like I see a giraffe, I think that's an elephant or something, a parrot, a zebra, and a tiger. That's pretty cute. I dropped it. I'm sorry, whatever animal is in there. So in addition to the egg that is now on the floor, we have a second. This one has an orange to yellow unicorn horn. And we have a third, and this one has a purple to blue horn. Very cute. So there are three of those. And then I was also sent three of these eggs, which say rainbow corns, sparkle heart surprise. Peel to reveal a hidden surprise. Six surprises hiding inside. Surprise stamp, boo boo corns. They say the word surprise a lot on this. So this one's like an aqua colored egg with a purple horn, a pearly gold horn and a blue horn and they all have fluff sticking to them because the inside of the egg is filled with fluff. So there are three of those. Here's some of that fluff. I don't want to touch it too much because I can't breathe. It's like a stretched cotton. There's pink and white. Very cute. Just not my thing. We've also got some wild ferns in here for decoration but I don't really have the space to decorate right now so we'll just save those for a different ambiance at a later date. And then I was also sent some rainbow corns itsy glitzy surprise. This is a four pack. Put it behind me. I was also sent a two pack. Then there's more cotton and ferns. This is blocking a lot of light. And the last thing is a card. 
I get fluff everywhere. It says, we hope you loved hatching the biggest rainbow corn egg ever. Now it's time to explore the special surprises inside, including new rainbow corns, wild heart surprise, sparkle heart surprise series two, and itsy glitzy surprise. We're so excited for you to meet new friends like tiger corn, toucan corn, and sloth corn. We know you'll love these cuddly cuties and the awesome accessories they come with. Spoiler, there's new wild nail decals and more rainbow corn poop. So what are you waiting for? Decals for my nails? Okay, if I get nail things, I'm gonna have to save them for my daughter because I just did my nails and they look fab. All right, there you have it, guys. Now we know the answer. This is the biggest rainbow corn egg ever and it's filled with random rainbow corn stuff, which included multiples of many items. And I'm not selfish, so I think I'm just gonna open one of each and then I can share the others with my children or neighbor's children and, you know, other friends because you gotta share the love. Sharing is caring, you know? I know you know, so I'm not gonna say it anymore. You know? You know. So, first up, we have a fluff-covered package of Itsy Glitzy Surprise Rainbow Corns. And this is the two-pack. It's actually incredibly cute. It says, Pop and Swap Gem Heart. So they look very much like this, but just like a three-inch scale. Very cute, to be honest. It says, It's time to shine. Glitter, sparkles, and bling. All of your Itsy Glitzy's favorite things. Hatch open the surprise egg to meet the new Itsy Glitzy Rainbow Corns and find more glitzy surprises inside, including hair clips and the Pop and Swap Heart Gem. So there are 24 different common types that we can get. Why am I pointing down here to the wrong things? There are 24 different common type creatures we can get inside and two rares, Blinger and Queenie. Okay, and it says there are so many surprises inside. So let's just open and see what they're like. Okay, I'm just gonna start with the instructions because it's gonna be hard to wanna go back to them after. So you pop it open, there's a little gem on the front and a ring inside, and you can either use the gem from the front of the egg to put in the ring, or the little accessory that comes inside also you can put on the ring. And then you can use the little boo-boo corn that comes there on top of a pencil. This first egg has a gold to pink pearly horn, and the second one has a white to yellow pearly horn. And they're both just wrapped in one piece of plastic that says Rainbow Corn's Glitzy Surprise. I'll just open both at the same time. And the tear strips worked! Excellent! So I'm gonna open the pearl to yellow one first. It's got a gold heart gem on the front. Just pop it open. Ooh! Okay, so this is the little boo-boo corn I got. It's a little neon orange dragon, and he's got a glittery gold heart belly and a golden horn. His paint looks pretty good. His eyes are big and round, and he's got little sharp teeth on his muzzle. He's also got a hole in the top of his head as well as in the back of his body. And we also got a little gold plastic pair of wings, which we can stick either on the dragon or on this little pink plastic ring, so you can have jewelry. And this little clear plastic bow with gold embedded glitter and orange polka dots. Boom, put it on top of the dragon's head and we've got a super cute little boo-boo corn. And this can fit on top of a pencil, I just don't have one handy, I'm sorry. And the last thing that was inside that egg is a little pink bow barrette and there's a little heart gem in the center. But it doesn't pop out or anything. But we can pop out the gem from the front of the egg and stick that on the ring. Boom, put it on my golden finger. So let's see if I can find the name of who I received. I think I got Rexy, maybe it's not a dragon, it might just be a dinosaur but either way, it's a common. Moving on to the next little egg I have. This is the one with the gold to pink horn and a bright orangey yellow heart on the front. Oh, so cute! It's a pearly purple bird with pink wings on the side, or flippers, as well as little orange feet and a bright blue glittery belly and horn. When it comes to the painting on the eyes, it looks really good and it's got a little black tip beak there. And once again, there are holes on top as well as in the back for accessories. And this time we've got a light coral pair of wings and a matching little bow. So cute, oh my gosh. And we have a little orange plastic ring and a rainbow barrette. And then of course we can't forget to add our little gem. There we go. Everything is like really working with my aesthetic today. All right, so that was my first ever look at the itsy glitzy little rainbow corns or boo-boo corns. They're very cute and I kind of like them. Meaning we can move on to the little sparkle heart surprise eggs. But the question is, which do I want to open? Will it be the blue horn, the pearly gold horn, or the purple horn? Let's leave it up to juggling. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'll just go with this one because it's in my right hand right now and I'm right-handed, that's a good enough reason. So here is the Series 2 Rainbow Corns Sparkle Heart Surprise. And this is the one that has the stamp and six surprises inside. So let's find a tear strip and give it a little pull. Mm. Who needs tear strips anyway? Not me. Okay, maybe me. 
All right, let's just skip ahead to when this is open. Why are you still here? Oh, okay, it's a good thing you didn't leave yet. Okay, here is our egg. It looks very much like the original rainbow corn one that I opened, so there is a top and a bottom half. There's just no heart in the center, so let's just go ahead and pop it open. Are they scented? No, it doesn't seem like it's scented. But it is upside down. Where's its face? Oh, there it is. Okay, here is my little rainbow corn. So it's got a white puffy body and on the back there are some sparkly purple and silver wings. On top we've got that same fabric but in a blue shiny horn and lots of rainbow fluffy hair, which is coming off. However, this is very normal. If you get any new fluffy or hairy animal or doll, typically that will start to stop shedding after the first few uses which is good. This little most likely panda also has some sparkly black smooth features in the form of legs, arms, and ears. Here is what he looks like up close. As you can see, the stitching is really nice and a quick check of his overall body tells me that there's nothing ripped, torn, or hanging off of him, which is wonderful. And then he's also got a really bright pink sparkly heart-shaped belly and there's a sticker on it. And I think we're supposed to pull it off to reveal whatever his surprise is. It's a bowl of ramen, which is funny because I just had that for dinner today. <laughs> so strange, but so cute. So there's a little bowl of ramen there and there's little pink chopsticks. I really wish this was scented, although I don't know what I would wish it to be scented as. Definitely not ramen. I mean, that's delicious when fresh, but I mean, I don't think I'd like to have a plushie that smells like ramen all the time. I mean, maybe I would. I've never tried it, so maybe I could be missing out. Who knows? So here's the guide. Let's see if it says what this character's name is. Oh, it's a girl. I'm so sorry. Her name is Mary. I just, I don't know why, I thought it was a boy. And she is a panda. Okay, may she be happy to live at my house. <laughs> In this little egg, we also get some rainbow corn glitter poop. I love the rainbow corn poop or cotton candy slime or cloud dough or whatever you wanna call it. It's my favorite of any slime I've ever felt, whatever you wanna call it. However, this one has glitter in it, so I don't know if I'm gonna be a fan. Let's go ahead and open it. It is in a plastic rainbow bag, and I was really excited for a second because I thought it had a little zipper seal, but it doesn't. If anyone from Zuru is watching, that would have been a great place to include one because then we could have just kept this. But uh, since it doesn't, we'll just move on. So inside we have two colors of cloud dough here. One is yellow and it smells really good like lemon and the other is blue. Oh, it smells like bubblegum, like grape bubblegum. Okay. And it does have glitter in it. It's small flakes of silver glitter. Let me just work it up a little bit. So this one is my favorite because it feels like gum and spider webs, which you wouldn't really play with ever so I don't know why I like it. <laughs> but I think it's because it's dry and not slimy, but it's not dry where I can't touch it because I have sensory issues. So I, I really can't explain why I like it, but I do. And I wish I had tons of it. In fact, that's all I want for Christmas is buckets and buckets of Zuru's rainbow corn poop. I do know that they make the cotton candy slime like you can buy it, but my store is always sold out of it. So I've never been lucky enough to come across that. But they should make a pumpkin spice one. Let me help you design a pumpkin spice Spice, like, what's a fall animal? I don't know, I can't think of one. But I wanna help you design a fall themed rainbow corn for next year, okay? And then we'll have pumpkin spice slime. Email me, send me an email if you wanna collab on that. But just remember, it was my idea. So if you ever see that product and I don't tell you that I helped with it, just know they stole it, okay? <laughs> Covering my bases here. All right, so that is the blue one. It smells really good. And here is the yellow. Oh, so good. I kind of wish they were in separate containers because the color is mixing. Not that it's a big deal, but some people don't like their colors mixing. So having that as an option would be great. So maybe just either more of one color or two separate ones. However, I'm not also a big fan of wasting extra plastic. So I don't know, you gotta pick and choose at that point, I suppose. Maybe they could have just been in the paper bag ones like the itty bitty pretties. Maybe just skip the plastic entirely and then we could have had them separate, you know? Oh. <sighs> This one matches my shirt. Okay, I'm gonna put the slime down because otherwise I'll be here playing with it all day. Moving on to the rest of what's in here, we have a little Rainbow Corns Sparkle Heart Adoption Certificate. This certifies that Jen has adopted May on today, October the 3rd, 2020. This is actually pretty cute. I'm not really sure what I would do with it after today because as cute as these little adoption certificates are in any toys that come with them, they always get lost. I mean, the first time I ever bought a Build-A-Bear for my kids was before they were born. So it was like their first ever one. It was special and we kept those and those 
adoption certificates, but I don't even know where those are. And I took really good care of them, so hopefully they're in an album somewhere. But realistically, what are you gonna do with this after? I'm not trying to beat up the idea, I'm literally asking because I don't know. But since you can't answer and the answer is not gonna come to me right now, we can move on to the last item, which is stuck in the bottom of this egg. And it's a little boo-boo corn egg and it's purple and it is sealed. Now, honestly, I don't really think that these need to be sealed because they're inside of a package that's on a shelf. Realistically, if somebody was gonna try to steal this at the store and pull it open and take the stuff inside, they would be pulling this out with the rest of the contents. Not really trying to help you turn into a thief here. I'm just saying, if they're stealing at the store anyways, they're taking this regardless of whether or not it is individually wrapped. So just skip that wrapping. So it's not gonna show up very well here, but on the front of the little egg, there is a little rainbow with a little unicorn horn on top and I spotted it and it's adorable. And inside, we have a little boo-boo corn stamp. It's a little yellow panda or bear, and it's kind of like on all fours with a little pair of glittery gold wings. And it comes off of the stamp, which is right here, it's purple. And once again, it is individually sealed. See, I don't really think it needs to be. I mean, maybe if the lid pops off profusely, which I'll be able to check in a second, I can understand why they're sealing it so that nothing happens to it. But one, if that was the case, they should probably fix that because who would want that? And two, it doesn't pop off, so it really wasn't necessary. Anyways, the stamp is a little camera with a heart in the lens, and it's purple. It gives a nice, vibrant little purple stamp. I just know my kids are gonna be sticking this all over all their pictures, and it reminds me of when I was a kid and did the exact same thing. Or the Crayola markers, the stamper markers. Oh, loved those. And just in case you're wondering, it is not scented. I only say that because they do make scented stamps for different things, so just in case you were wondering, it's not. And that is the end of our little sparkle heart surprise or at least the one that I opened, not these two. I'm gonna be saving these two so that somebody else can smile at some point. We're all trapped inside and it kind of sucks. So I will save those until I can see someone to share them. Which means we can finally move on to one of the Wild Hearts surprises. Was that what they were called? Oh, look at that. It was. It is a Wild Hearts surprise from Rainbow Corn. Excellent. Sweet. So which one do I want to open? Ooh, it's between these two. Do I want the tealy gold? or the purpley blue, or the steely Dan. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Okay, I'm gonna go with eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I did the right hand last time, so I will do the left hand. So this one is a purple egg with a teal and gold pearly horn, and it's got like zebra stripes all over. And this one has a sequin flippy heart in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and find the tear strip. Or not. Please stand by. Ooh, I got it. Inside we have a clue, it says, I love shoes or I love running, or I love health, or I love being fit. There's a lot we can interpret from this. Next, we have a layer of plastic. This one makes a bit more sense because at least it's on the outside of the egg. So it is protecting and saving the insides from being pilfered or falling out. And here is our egg. So it's purple and covered in question marks and hearts. And it is basically just like the original rainbow corn eggs. But on the front, back to this, we have our silver sequined egg. And if we flip it, we will have our surprise. Ooh, I can't do it. I can't see from there. It is a TV, an orange, pink, blue, and yellow neon TV. That is so cool. I'm getting retro vibes. What am I smelling? Oh, that's the slime. It smells like bubble gum. I was about to say, please don't be bubble gum scented. My mind is going all over the place. There's so many things happening. There we go. Pull that off and ooh. <laughs> okay then, inside, my little heart has popped in. There's our heart, we can take it off. And on the back, by the way, there is a clip so you can be super fancy should you want to attach it to your hair or like a normal person, perhaps a backpack or a strap of some sort. And inside we have a pink and black fluffy zebra corn. And it's got some rainbow pastel hair, but it's mostly orange, pink, and yellow with a little bit of blue in the front. And although it's hard to tell, it is wrapped around this glitter glittery pink corn. And it's a smooth like pleather fabric which matches these wings on the back. And it has the same pastel rainbow colored tail. And both of these, by the way, are shedding profusely. Same message as I gave with little May here. After the first uses, that should stop. It's very common for new products, so we won't judge that. Let's just get some more of that off. <laughs> Keeping up with the flashy sparkliness, we have golden hooves on both the hands and feet, as well as a bright pink, smooth, glittery belly 
which matches the wings on the back. As for the little embroidering that I'm able to find on the muzzle, it all looks really good. And we also have some big bulbous plastic eyes and there's gold glitter in there as well. So now we need to take our cool retro TV belly and pop it on our character. And let's flip up all the sequins. And there's my little zebra corn. And I can't believe I didn't notice this at first. It's also got little heart-shaped cheeks. And once again, the stitching on those looks really good too. <sighs> My only problem right now is all of this fluff flying off of the little zebra's head. So let's just wait for that to settle. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just kidding. Now we will move on and check out what character we have. Like, does it give a name or is it just a zebra corn? The answer is Blanco. We have Blanco the zebra corn. Now let's see what else we have. Starting with this little paper surprise bag. Really happy about this. It's white and purple with zebra stripes. Oh, so cute. And inside there are pink and black zebra striped press on nails. And I have really small fingers, so those would probably fit me, but I'm actually gonna save them for my daughter because that makes sense. Next, we have another little boo-boo corn egg and this one is bright orange. Let's see, once again, there's a little rainbow on the front with a unicorn horn that you can't see. And inside we have, what, it's got hair now? Are they scented? No, okay, it smells very strongly of plastic. Inside we have a little giraffe corn, I think, a little pink giraffe corn with teal spots on the side and a really long hairy tail. And unfortunately, a lot of this is coming out. And I know I said with first time uses, it should like be expected that this will happen. However, it's a very small hole with some glue holding it in. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. And also the area that a pencil is supposed to stick into, I can actually see that the hair is going through and glued in through the bottom. So I don't even have a pencil nearby, but I don't know how well that would actually fit on a pencil. But other than that, the hair is going in my mouth. It's really cute and the paint on the front looks really nicely done. And lastly, we have a plastic bag with two different slimes. Oh gosh, it's very cold and squishy. I don't think it's the right kind of slime. It doesn't mention the slime. Okay, they're separated by two different parts of the egg. So on top, it looks like it's black. Let's see. It's not scented. What is it? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's so stringy. Ah. I'm mostly doing this because I need to know whether or not this is gonna stain someone's skin because I saw the black through the package. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, so. Oh, I don't know. Do I like it or not? It feels like a foam, like an air dry clay foam, but wet, which doesn't make sense. I don't know. What do you think? You can't feel it, so it's a really weird thing to ask you. It feels nice actually, now I'm less scared of it. And there is no residue on my fingers, which I'm really happy about. And I was concerned that it was going to like dye my skin and it's not. However, there is glitter in it. I can see all these little clear glittery shapes on my fingers. I'm surprised because I didn't notice it in the actual slime, but it is sticking to me. So that is both cool as a surprise, but kind of cruddy that it's sticking to me and not going back into the slime, like at all. But at least now we know that. And we know that it's not as horrible as I initially thought when I saw the package. I'm gonna stick it inside a boo-boo egg for now. Say lovey. Okay guys, that is it for me and my giant rainbow corns super surprise egg. We check out the itsy bitsy little unicorn rainbow corn boo boo corn eggs. I'm so tired right now, I'm sorry. Um, we checked out the sparkle heart surprise eggs and we checked out the wild heart surprise eggs. And each of them were really good quality. They do have hairs that do come out. So just be mindful of that and be sure to have little containers handy for your slimes when you're done and you should be good to go. Also keep in mind that I didn't give you any prices today so if you're interested in anything that you saw make sure to shop around find the best deal for you and your family and sharing is caring although you might have been like man I really wish you had opened the other one so you can see them just remember that someday someday soon I will get to have a little smiling neighbor kid somewhere going thanks Jen what a nice little surprise and I will say you're welcome because I don't really want everybody around me to know that I get free toys because then they'll just always be bugging me for free toys but we share when we can spread love happiness kindness and everybody in the world will be a little bit nicer or at least that's the way I like to think of things hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did and you haven't already then subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews especially leading up into the holidays. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.